keeping away from righteous companions causes weakness of iman. As the Prophet ﷺ said, be careful of who you take as your companion. Because every man has the deen of his companion. Every man has the deen of his companion. If you tell me my best friend is a Christian, I'm going to tell you you have a problem. I'm not saying we can't be friends, we can't be companions, but if you tell me the person you spend the most time with is someone who does not remember Allah Azza wa Jal, does not remember Allah the way you should remember Allah, then guess what? Your iman is going to suffer because of that, whether it's now or later on down the road. Because one thing I do know, in this life, either you're giving da'wah or you're getting da'wah. One of the two. So you need to be aware. Because at one time you're going to be doing both. You'll be getting it and you'll be giving it. So you need to be aware of what you're giving and you need to be aware of how you're getting the da'wah. So we need to try to insha'Allah ta'ala keep righteous companionship. Look at your friends. Check your friends. We live in a time today where just because this guy says La ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah doesn't mean he might be the best companion for me. We live in a very awkward time where people need to be tried and tested. Even Ali radiallahu an used to say that you know until you've actually spent a certain amount of time with a man, you've journeyed with him, you've ate in his home, things of that nature, you know, you can't really consider this man your, your dearest brother. So people need to be tested today. We need to find companions that are going to help us and benefit us. And if you see that slacking, you should either try to bring your companion closer to you, or if you feel that you're too weak to do so, separate that company. Separate that company for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal, and let somebody else come and try to nourish that relationship. Because if not, you're both going to get dragged into the ditch. The Prophet ﷺ, when he was buried, this is how much the, the companions benefited the companionship of the Prophet ﷺ. He was their companion, he was their best friend, he was their mentor, he was their teacher. When, when, when battles were fierce, he was the person they looked for. When he died, وسلم, they said, we looked at our hearts and we felt deep change. The moment he died, the moment we buried him, we looked at our hearts and we felt a deep change. And it is said about them that they were like, they were like sheep on a cold winter's night with no shepherd. Seriously, they were almost lost. Even Omar lost it on that day because this loss of companionship of the Prophet ﷺ hurt them so much. You know, these are the type of companions we should try to, to get. We're not going to find anyone like the Prophet ﷺ, but we should check our companions. Check your friends. Check your friends, insha'Allah.